Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, my name is Rob Bromley, and I am a magician. And I'm going to tell you how I first became I interested in the art. I just said... <laughs> I just spent ten minutes saying, ladies and gentlemen, we have a magician. <laughs> you know you do tricks. I mean, yeah. you, get on with it. <laughs> God's sake, man. And I would like to explain, because I saw a guy do an amazing trick with a few cards, and he counted them, and he actually had one, two, three, four, five, six cards. Now, the idea of the trick... What do you think? was to take away one, two, three cards. He clicked his fingers over the cards and amazingly enough, he still ended up with a one, two, three, four, five, six cards. Start getting off me. <laughs> I didn't see that then. You didn't. Just start That's again, please, thank you. Keep this mic on at all times, okay? Thank you very much indeed, it does help. <laughs> thank you. I know what's coming now, don't I? No, <laughs> what? No, no, please, Okay. on your mark. Get set. And ladies and gentlemen, Rob Bromley. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to tell you how I first became interested yeah. in the art of magic. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> because, because many years ago, I saw a marvellous performer mm -hmm. do an amazing thing yeah. with, <laughs> with a few cards and he counted them. He actually had one, two, three, four, five, six cards. Ladies and gentlemen, the Majidadum <laughs> has six cards. Thank you. Bing bong. Now what this guy did, he took away one, two, three cards. Left him with three. This should have left him with three, but amazingly enough, he still ended up with a one, two, three, four, five, six cards. It didn't matter how many Excuse times... <laughs> how many cards did you come on stage with? Six. How many did you throw away? Three. And how many is left in your hand? Six. how many times he took away the one, the two, the three cards, he was always left with the one, two, three, four, five, six cards. A miracle. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. So, thank you. I've gone up to this guy and I said, could you teach me how the trick is actually done? He says, it's very, very simple. He says, when you take away the one, the two, the three cards, you don't actually take those cards away. Yes, you did. <laughs> yes, you did. I saw three cards leave your hand from them to there. No, you, you think you see them. What do you mean? You think you see them go, but it's an illusion. <laughs> so what? <laughs> it's an illusion. You think uh, an illusion is something you think is actually there, but it's not really there at all. You mean like Robert Maxwell's pension fund? <laughs> After I'd practiced this trick, I went away and learnt this trick. And for the first time this evening, I'd like to show you that marvellous trick using the six cards. And the idea of the trick, as if you didn't know, is to take away the one, the two, the three cards. I click my fingers over the cards. Why? Why? <laughs> because the flick is in the trick. Pardon? The flick is in the trick. Oh. <laughs> There's nothing happening here. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I know how Des O'Connor feels like now, don't I? <laughs> I bet you don't. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, when I take the three away, I should be left with a one, two, three, four... Ladies and gentlemen, the trick has gone wrong. <laughs> I could never ever do that trick using the one, two, three, four, five, six cards. Yes, I know. Fabulous.
Thanks, Fred. Listen, okay. don't go, don't go. Stay, stay, stay. Right. Have you ever thought about audience participation? What do you mean? About getting somebody out from the audience and bring them on stage and being part of the show. Do a trick with them. I could do mm. that, yes. Mm. OK, I'll pick somebody good-looking, well-dressed and intelligent. Pardon me? <laughs> well, obviously, if they're coming out here onto the stage, they yes. need to be good-looking, well-dressed, intelligent. Oh. Excuse me, sir, you couldn't nip off and find somebody for us, could you? <laughs> oh, yes. This is a magic microphone, ladies and gentlemen. It's called an audience finder. <laughs> Cannon and Ball would give the lies for this. Hello, madam, what's your name, please? Chris. Pardon me? Chris. It's just outside, love. <laughs> um, oh, Chris. Sorry, love. Sorry. Hello, sir. And your name? Fred. Fred? Same, same as Frank. <laughs> yeah. Hello, sir. And what's your name, sir? Spencer. Spencer. Is this your wife? Yes. Never mind. Um, <laughs> You've got big boobs, look. <laughs> Can I just feel one, please? <laughs> I can feel one of <laughs> Hello, sir. And what's your name, sir? Alan. 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 Nice to meet you, Al. Um, would you like to come up with me on stage? Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for Alan, yes? Great to have you up here, Alan. That's marvellous. We're going to try and do a trick. Face the audience. That's Smile. Great. You're in showbiz. <laughs> hey, on television, in front of millions of people, don't worry. Don't be nervous. Millions of people are watching you, Alan. Don't be nervous. OK? Don't be nervous. What well, once you do, be <coughs> nice and relaxed. So, um, perhaps, uh, could we borrow that chair, Freddie? Hmm? Could we borrow the chair? I just sat on it. No, for Alan. Oh, To sorry. make him nice and relaxed and comfortable. Great. Take a seat, sir. <coughs> Great. Alan, do, do you do impressions? No. I'll show you one. Close your legs as root to point. <laughs> OK. <laughs> and as long as, <laughs> as long as you've got to do, keep your legs closed, it'll lift one leg up to there. Now, that's an impression of a man sat on the toilet with no lock on the door. <laughs> Did you like that one? <laughs> That's good, aren't it? That's a very good job. What we're going to try and do is something. There's something wrong with the chair. Pardon? There's something wrong with the chair. It's wood. No, I keep getting a shock off it. A shock? Mmm. Electric shock. Don't be silly. Don't be silly, is it? A bit of static. Turn your guitars down, lads, please. Static. <coughs> now, Alan, do you like card magic? You do like car magic, that's very important, because what we're going to actually try and do is some... There's something... <laughs> we're going to do something very, very special now, using a... <laughs> what? OK. <laughs> you didn't go for a curry last night, sir, no. did you? <laughs> you didn't go for a curry last night, no, did you? I didn't. No, I did. I went for the Lebanese cutting. I woke up this morning with the shites. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Fine. Now, what you've got to do here is pick a card. They're all different to cards. All these look cards at them. are different. Look at me. Look they at are the all different. And it's very important you choose a card, so just say stop any time you like. Stop. About there. Have a look at the card you chose. It is important you remember that card, Alan. Remember show... the card, Alan. Yes, Remember sir. the card, Alan, but don't show the medididum. <laughs> or d don't show me, okay? Thank show you. the audience, and particularly the camera there, the, the value of the card. That's great. And place the card back anywhere you like into the pack and shuffle the card, sir. Shuffle the card. Shuffle man. the card. Give him a good shuffle. That's great. Okay. <laughs> Now, the idea of this trick, very simple. I will now cut to your card. He will now cut to your card. I will. 
If I don't cut to it, I'll give you a hundred pounds in cash. If he doesn't cut to your card, he'll give you a thousand pounds. <laughs> a hundred. Pardon? A hundred. All right, then. Here we go. A roll oh. on the drums. Maestro, please. Is that your card? It is? No. Ladies and gentlemen, th No. That's not the card, sir. That's not the card. That's not the card? That's not the card. That's not the card. You're messing about now, aren't you? I'll, hold on, you're, just saying, you're saying that on purpose, aren't you? No. Nope. Nope. It's not the card. It it's not the card? No. It's not the card. It doesn't really matter, because if all else fails, I do have my assistant. Oh, yes. My assistant? Yes. Do you like to see him? Yes. Okay. He's just going to get his assistant. Come on. <laughs> Don't do the camera. This is Ricky the raccoon. And he has a very acute sense of smell. Because I trained him. <laughs> Good job he wasn't a hamster. <laughs> Thank you, the Sun newspaper. <laughs> Hold your hand out, please. That's great. And Ricky will attempt... No, the clean one. <laughs> oh, you... Right the first time. <laughs> that's great. Now, raise your hand about six inch. If that's six inches, I've got no problems. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky will now sniff the card. Brilliant. He now has the value of the card. He will now whisper the value of the card that you chose. <laughs> the two of diamonds. No. No. Well, okay. Well, Alan, thank you for coming. <laughs> and for those who haven't, be patient. <laughs> we hope you've enjoyed yourselves this evening, ladies and gentlemen. A nice big round of applause for the good sport, Alan. Thank you so much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, God bless. Thank you.